Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel and if you're new here my name is Brandon. And my name is Heidi and we're here with a new video for you. It is the day where I leave for Disney's Cultural Exchange program. It is Sunday May 14th at about 3 15 in the morning. Um, we're gonna get to the airport here like around 4 o'clock. My flight's at 7 30. All the bags are packed. We're so tired. We had lots of cries last night, lots of time together. We had a great day yesterday. Um, but everything's all sorted and the day is finally here. Of course, it's full of like mixed emotions. I'm so excited and so happy, but I'm also just so sad to be away from Heidi. But let's get all this stuff packed into the car and head off to the airport. All right, so we made it to the airport. We have parked and we are going to get Brandon's things and yeah, find the correct terminal that he's supposed to be entering. Yeah, so I'll show as much as I can. When you're traveling solo and you have like four bags, we'll see how this goes. I know that I'm gonna drop off like uh, two of them yeah, here, so we'll do that first and then you'll see our little farewell. And then, like I said, I'll do as much as I can, obviously not through security and customs, but once I'm clear of all that, we'll be good to go to have a little chat. <laughs> It's gonna be hard guys, it really is. I'm gonna to try to hold it in here because we cried lots yesterday. Yeah. But it's gonna be hard. But I think that it's gonna go by quick and then you're gonna to come to see me soon. So hopefully it's it's nice. So I now just got back into the car. I said my final goodbyes to Brandon, made sure he was all good, checked in there and waved to him as he was going through security. So it's gonna be really hard to be without Brandon for the next three months. We're literally best friends and do pretty much everything together. So it's gonna be definitely an adjustment, but I just wanted to say I'm so proud of him. I cannot wait to see like all his vlogs because he's just so deserving of this experience and so deserving to just go out to Disney and have a good time and make magic and live out this dream of his. So I just wanted to say I'm so proud of him and I can't wait to see everything that he accomplishes on this cultural exchange program but for now that's bye from me from these vlogs and i can't wait to see what brandon gets up to so yeah up next you'll see brandon hopefully went through uh security and everything no problem and you'll see him waiting for the airplane all right so we made it through security it took about 20 minutes which is honestly so good i was like very worried because the line looked long um, and i forgot that you could download like an app where you can, I think, speed through it. I just wasn't sure if I should have because I'm coming in on the J1 visa. So I didn't do that. I'm also filming on the phone as of right now just because I'm walking to my gate to go sit. I'll probably get a coffee because I need that right now, something to eat. And then I board in around like an hour and 45 minutes. So we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna hang out, relax, and we'll have a little chat to let you know how I'm feeling because I'm a bit nervous, of course excited, but can't believe that today I'll be down in Disney World. All right, I haven't vlogged much because I've been chatting with people, having a great time. There's other people here on the flight who are doing the program as well. Um, I'm filming on the phone because we're just about to board. So I'm just walking back to the gate. Um, and I'll film some stuff on the plane, some fun stuff about what I'm doing, watching, all that fun stuff. And then once I get to Orlando, I'll be sure to update you. And we're gonna go to Pop Century, have some fun. So we'll see you very soon. <music> very humid as you can tell by my forehead. It looks very sweaty for some reason, but it's very, very humid already. I can feel it in my hands. I'm excited though. It means that we're gonna have a great day today. Um, the flight was super awesome, like perfect, great, no issues, um, flew by, it was so fast. So now we're gonna go get our bags. I'm filming on the phone because of the camera, I'm just not taking that out right now in the airport when I got all this stuff. So let's go get our bags and then head to the Mirrors bus. Oh my goodness, all right, hopefully this is good. I am in my hotel room, as you can tell, which is Pop Century, I'm so excited, I'm so glad to be here. I just lugged all my stuff here, so I have my two luggages, my carry-on, my backpack, all of that's here. I couldn't really film too, too much like on the camera and stuff because there was people everywhere and then obviously like you're on the mirrors bus and things are crazy, so I couldn't update anything there, but 
I'm glad that I could update here. Um, so I'm just sitting in the room. I'm just gonna try to FaceTime and call Heidi to let her know that I'm here and talk to my parents and stuff. And then probably gonna go get something to eat. I literally have not ate anything except for this morning at probably five o'clock had a bagel from Starbucks. So I am very, very hungry. It's 105 right now. And the whole process, like our flight landed, I think right around 10 o'clock. I waited probably an hour for the mirrors bus. It seemed like roughly. And then now we're here. We stopped at Art of Animation came to pop century I'm all checked in I got my new magic band which I'll show I'm gonna charge it like a little bit so hopefully everything works I know that I'm not like going to the parks and stuff where I can use the stuff but um, like with the magic band plus but I still want to charge it so I just have it ready to go um, but yeah the the game plan right now is probably just go get some food from pop century come back and kind of take it easy and then I'm probably gonna go do some pin trading and then maybe later head to Disney Springs I'm not too sure this day is kind of like a go with the flow type of day because of course tomorrow for me Monday I check into Flamingo Crossings so it's kind of just a weird day I honestly can't even like believe that I'm here um, and it feels very very weird being here solo I've never been to Disney by myself I've never done a trip solo by myself ever in my whole life so this is very odd for me and very different I think I'm just like pretty overtired that I haven't felt all of these emotions come out yet but it's just honestly surreal I of course like miss Heidi so much the airport was just sad I was crying then my eyes are puffy and it's just very very hard when you're away from someone for three months who you super care about and who you see all the time and it's just gonna be very very challenging but we're gonna get through it and we're gonna do it and we're gonna take it day by day and I just thank you all for your support I've gotten lots of messages of people saying that it's gonna be okay we're gonna get through it it's gonna be awesome so I really really appreciate that um, and send Heidi all the love too because Heidi's awesome and she's just so incredible and I'm so proud of her and she's gonna do such great things this summer as well we're both gonna have a great summer and then we'll be reunited at the end which is a spoiler maybe that she's coming to see me so anyway I'm kind of rambling on, I think, because I'm so hungry. So why don't we go get some food from the Pop Century little cafeteria gift shop um, and kind of walk around Pop Century. But first, I wanted to show something here because this is so cool. I don't even think that I've ever had this happen before. All the times that we've come, it's kind of just been on a random screen or there's been nothing here, but it literally says like Pop Century Resort and welcoming my party. Disney 100, I think that is just so cool and so awesome. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna call Heidi, we're gonna FaceTime and I'm just gonna chat with her and show her the room. I'll do like a little room tour, um, like I'll put that in here, just of the Pop Century room in case you've never stayed at Pop Century. It's our favorite of like the value resorts. Of course, Animal Kingdom Lodge is our favorite resort because of the like memory of getting engaged, but the resort that we'd stay at probably most often is Pop Century. I love the Skyliner, I'm gonna ride the Skyliner today to go do some pin trading and stuff, but yeah, we'll do like a little room tour after I talk to Heidi before we go get the food. All right, so I just FaceTimed Heidi and I switched my Mint Mobile like SIM card that I bought into my phone. So now that's all done and good. I feel better about it. Um, and I charged my Magic Band plus a little bit. So we're gonna show it here. This is the charger, which people maybe have seen this before. We don't have Magic Band plus at all yet. This is my first one. So very cool i'm excited to see what they do in the parks obviously because they do fun things and different things but this is the one that i ended up going with i posted this like in our story a while ago and it was this one or another like four parks one but i chose this one and it's just like mickey and friends so there's like mickey pluto and minnie and then on the other side you can see there's chip and dale donald daisy and even goofy way down there there's so many characters on here and here's what the front looks like. It's actually lighting up right now, which is perfect timing, but it's got the castle and looks like fireworks or sparkles and stuff going on, but it's doing something. Um, I'm not really sure, but I also got it engraved and it says CEP 2023 on the inside for this program that I'm on. So I'm gonna switch this off and wear this one today because I think that it's fun to wear this because I am here for this today and it's starting today. Um, but now we're gonna go get food actually for real. I had like an emotional, like time here just now because it's like actually like sunk in that I'm here for three months and then I'm gonna be away. And I'm just gonna keep it real like all the time how I feel because I think that's important. And I feel like because I'm here by myself right now, I'm talking to all of you. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm feeling 
like emotional about this whole thing. It's, it's of course, going to be so exciting and so much fun. And I think it's just all of these things at one time where it's like, I'm in Disney World in a hotel getting ready to move into Flamingo tomorrow. I'm away from Heidi and it's going to be for three months. But I think our whole thing that me and Heidi just talked about on FaceTime is like, taking it day by day and I think that's going to kind of be like our like mantra for this time is like take it day by day and then hopefully it won't feel as as long or as hard. Um, I also think I'm just like so hungry and so tired if you couldn't tell. I literally slept for like two hours so I think we just got to go get some food um, and then I'm going to go around Pop Century and we're gonna pin trade, ride the Skyliner, and then we'll see kind of what else happens. I may go to Disney Springs, like I said, but I'm not too sure how I'll feel, but we'll see. I just wanted to give this update and say that I'm feeling like emotional and happy and excited, but yeah, if, if you can all send some love, if you're watching this in the comments for Heidi and for myself, just that would be so appreciated because it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be great, and I think we'll both have a great summer, um, and I can't wait for Heidi to come here at the end of the summer. It'll be so much fun. So anyway, I've been ranting on, I've been sitting in my room, I'm excited to go get some food. I switched my card, got my magic band. Let's go get some food from Pop Century. All right, so I'm just walking now to the food court. I'm staying in the 50s area, which has Big Lady and the Tramp, like statues or figures that are just huge outside. I think last time we were here, we saw like the Jungle Book one of like Baloo and Mowgli, but these ones are cool and I love the whole vibe back here. So I'm much closer than we were last time. Last time we were like super, super far, pretty much at the all-star resorts is the whole joke, but this time I'm much closer and I'm enjoying it. All right, it might be like super loud because there's music playing and it's very loud in here, but I just got the kids turkey sandwich, which is just very basic, but I'm also just not that hungry. So it's just a turkey sandwich with lettuce and I got some fries with it. They're supposed to give you apple slices and a yogurt or something, but they didn't and just gave me the fries. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, I'm not too hungry, like I said. It's kind of been a weird day where I feel tired and anxious and just overwhelmed, to be quite honest. So we're gonna enjoy this, go back to the room, and then see what we get up to next. All right, we're back out in the sun. It's very beautiful, I'm loving it so much. I got some pins in my fanny pack. We're gonna go trade some pins. I guess where I last left off was I had the turkey sandwich. I ended up bringing it back to the room because it was so loud there and really busy. So I just ate the sandwich and FaceTimed Heidi. We chatted and ate dinner together. Um, I put some sauce on the sandwich and it was better and the reason that I got the sandwich was actually they didn't have the chicken strips so I just got the kids turkey sandwich because I wasn't that hungry and it was perfect for me so we're gonna go check the pop century like gift shop store we'll do some pin trading there see what merch they have I like I'm a shopper so I love looking at stuff and then we're gonna hop on the Skyliner and go to all of the resorts and do some pin trading I think that'll be so fun so let's go see what they got in the store and see if I can trade any pins <music> about to go on the Skyliner, which I guess is like sort of the first ride of the trip, I guess. I love the Skyliner, so I'm excited about it. Let's see what gondola we get. We're gonna head over to Riviera and Caribbean Beach to do some pin trading. All right, we are in the Skyliner. It's about to take off and we're gonna head over the water. This is just so great. I like, well, here we go. <laughs> I kind of forgot it kicks back like that. The weather is beautiful today. I honestly don't even know the temperature, but it's warm, but not too warm. Sorry, I got interrupted by the beautiful Skyliner lady whose voice I really, really did miss. We are gonna go to Caribbean Beach and I'm gonna uh, try to do some pin trading there, look at their shop. We've been there, I think, maybe once we actually got off to actually like look at pins. I'm not 100% sure, but I really, really like this resort. I think it's a cool one. It looks very big when you're up here on the Skyliner. So we'll see what we can find. I'm loving this right now. I feel much better now that I'm out doing some things. So this is great. We'll see if we can find any pins. I will say though, at Pop Century, there weren't really any. Um, I looked on the board, but I do like a lot of the merch. I'm excited and I can't wait for the cast member discount to kick in one of these days so I can maybe get that 100th hat because I love a hat and I think that one's cool. We'll see. There'll be a few purchases I'm sure at some point, but let's go trade some pins.
This resort's like really cool. I've never actually walked through this, but there's like a beach and everything. It's also way hotter than I thought it was because the sun's beating down on me right now. But we're gonna go inside the store and see what we can find. I honestly just like love this view. This resort is really beautiful. I've never obviously stayed here myself or Heidi, but it's just so nice. The views are incredible everywhere. And it's so big, this whole resort. Like walking around, there's so many areas. Just laying in a hammock. I thought this would be a fun idea. I'm on FaceTime with Heidi actually. Maybe Heidi, that would be fun if Heidi said hello. There's Heidi. Hello everyone. So there's Heidi, we're, we're, we're talking with Heidi here. <laughs> yeah, I know, we're, we're on the hammock because I thought that'd kind of be fun. So we're, we're walking through the sand and then I'm laying on the hammock. It is like roasting hot right here though, I will say. I said on the Skyliner that it wasn't that hot today and I'm very sweaty, but I just wanted to lay here for a minute to see how it felt and it feels very good. So we'll continue on our walk, but yeah, this was a fun little break. So we're now at the Riviera, which is a very beautiful resort. Um, I really, really like this one. I would love to stay at this one as well one day. Um, but we're gonna go look for some pins again here at the store to see if we can trade for any. Um, I'm also trying this video without the mic today. So if it's kind of wonky, then that's probably why. I know that for the last few we've used the mic. For today, I just kind of took it off because it was kind of like moving around a lot. So just wanted to put that out there. But I also witnessed like on the Skyliner in the one in front of me, the gondola in front, this lady just like ran off and grabbed a sweater that she dropped and she almost like tripped and fell and they had to stop the whole thing and it was like a whole big ordeal. So it was kind of crazy, but I, I chatted with the most sweetest ladies from New Jersey and they were just like chatting to me about how cool it is that I'm gonna work for Disney. So that was really, really nice, but um, we're gonna go check the Riviera. I love this resort. Like I said, we'll see if we can find pins. And I like to see like the murals or like the stained glass looking things in here with like the like Peter Pan entangled and stuff. That just makes me happy. I'm gonna show this one. Heidi loves this one. It's the tangled one. And it's just so beautiful and it goes all the way up like above the ceiling. And I just think it is so, so cool. Like how they did that. Beautiful. All right, friends, we're back in my room at Pop Century. I'm not too sure exactly where I left off. I'm pretty sure that it was the Riviera. And I forgot that like the Riviera seems like you can't go in anywhere because you have to have magic bands to be able to tap if you're staying at that resort. It's like open doors and different things. So I couldn't even go inside some of the places to pin trade. So I kind of just like turned around, went back on the Skyliner and came back here to Pop Century. I took some pictures outside um, and then came inside, called Heidi and called my mom. And now we're just gonna enjoy some Pop Century pizza. I just got the big giant pepperoni slice. We're gonna enjoy that um, to end off the night because I'm pretty tired. But first we'll do a little room tour. I know that a lot of people have seen Pop Century before, have probably stayed here before, but just in case you didn't, I'll show you what the rooms look like. So when you walk in the room, you have this over here. Perfect coffee, mini fridge, that stuff. There's my luggage, don't mind that. There's the table, which then pulls down into a bed, um, which can sleep other people. I'm not gonna pull it down because I have my stuff on it there, just the important things. Um, when you come over here, there's the bed, obviously. I love the little Mickey portraits at the back. I think they're super cool and super fun. I love the lights and everything about the whole vibe of this resort. Then over here, we have these cabinets with the drawers. Of course, if I was staying on vacation, I would put my stuff in there but I'm not, so I left everything in the suitcases. You have the TV, which I showed earlier. I was just watching the playoff game, the Celtics versus the 76ers. That was on, but there's the TV. You walk over here, there's the door if it was conjoining somewhere else with the hooks. There I am, coming over to the bathroom. Got the hangers here for clothes, some shelf space and all that kind of stuff. Very, very standard resort, of course. They have the makeup mirror, the big mirror, and then on in here to the bathroom, which is again, just standard shower, um, all that stuff. And on these value resorts, they actually do lock the soaps in place there, so you can't take them. I'm not too sure if they do that everywhere now. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they do do that everywhere. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna sit, enjoy the pizza. Um, I'm pretty tired, like I had already said. It's just been a long day, honestly, of like a lot of things. Um, obviously when you, leave your country and leave the person who you love the most and who you see all the time and you come to a new place even if it's a fun familiar place like disney world you still feel so many emotions and so many things and i just want to be real how i feel because i think it's important and i know that over time it'll get easier and it'll be there'll be more things going on so it'll be more busy and i won't be thinking as much about 
how long it's going to be that I'm going to be away because I don't want to think that way, but it's hard when you're not busy. That's all that you think about. So I'm excited to be more busy. I know that it's going to be great. The program is going to be great and I'm going to have a super great time. Um, and I just want to thank all of you for watching, but I really, really, really want to give a big shout out to Heidi. I know that she's watching this and I also just want to say that she's just the best and I wouldn't honestly be here doing this program without her support and without her pushing me to do this. So I know that this is even harder for her than it is for me, me being away, um, just cause I'm at Disney and she's not, but it's also just hard of course. And I, I just want her to know how incredible she is, how awesome she is and just how proud you make me and how you're giving me the strength to do this. So I just want everyone to hear that, that I'm just very, very thankful for Heidi. So send her all the love down in the comments because Heidi is awesome. But I'm gonna end my day off here. Um, it was super eventful, super fun. Tomorrow I check into Flamingo Crossing. That'll be exciting. It's gonna be very, very busy. So I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that that'll come out on Friday of my check-in to Flamingo Crossing, all that stuff, the Canadian fireworks night at the Polynesian all those fun things. So definitely, if you're not already, consider subscribing to our channel for more Disney Cultural Exchange Program content just like this um, and ring that bell so you never miss any new videos. And like I said, like this one if you did enjoy it because this is just the beginning of this kind of content here to come. Of course, there'll be the same other content sometimes on our channel with live streams and like some pin mail Heidi's gonna do and fun things like that. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for so many more fun videos to come. And remember friends, it's always sunny. Thank you.